Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So, continuing our series on testing uh, prospective materials for improvised body armor, today I've got some hardy backer uh, wet backing board. You know, this is a building material that would be used in place of drywall or uh, potentially wafer board in areas that require moisture resistance, like the bathroom. Uh, now, I don't know a lot about how this stuff is made or what it's made from. Just by inspection, it looks like a literal composite of wood fibers and cement. Uh, you know, it's, it's quite hard and yet relatively lightweight. Uh, so I kind of have high hopes for this, at least compared to some of the other things we've tested. Uh, it's about three-eighths of an inch thick. So to start with, I'm going to stack up uh, four sheets of this and we'll shoot it with a nine millimeter and see what happens. Well, nine millimeter blew right through it. So that's a little disappointing. I really thought this stuff might do better than that. I guess while we got it out here, we might as well shoot it with the 44 Magnum as well. Well, there's our 44 Magnum hole. Now one thing I notice, uh, really with both of these, but especially with the 44 Magnum, is that the exit hole is much larger than the entrance hole. So this material is effective at spreading out the energy or the pressure, whatever you want to call it, that's imparted by the bullet to the target. Uh, and that could potentially make it an effective component of some kind of a composite armor system. But by itself, this stuff is definitely not bulletproof. Well, I guess that concludes our testing for the day. Uh, you know, I really expected this stuff to do better than it did, but that's why we do these tests, because sometimes things don't work quite the way we expect them to. Anyway, till next time, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.